Gemma from Generation Strength and welcome to the 30 day strength from home workout challenge. Today is day 19, we've got a lower body session. We're going to be doing 5 exercises, 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest in between. Some exercises we're performing unilaterally, meaning that we're going to work in one leg and then we're going to be resting for 15 seconds and then we're going to be working the other leg, working for 45 seconds. So we're going to get right into it, you're going to take the centre of the mat and we're going to start the warm up. Feet pointing forward, knees straight, slightly bent. From there we're going to rotate the upper body so the hips are forward and I'm moving through the full range of motion, I'm not twisting from side to side. Just nice and controlled movement, I'm feeling the upper back move. But the hips are staying forward. Chest up, look straight ahead. Nice and slow. From here we're going to go down into a squat. So take the hips back, keep the knees out. I'm sitting down and I'm sweeping the floor. So touching my fingertips to the floor, keeping the knees out. As I come up, I push off the weight of my heels to make my legs go straight. So from the side, it's bum back, back straight. At the top, we're gonna to stop and we're gonna switch directions. Nice and slow on the way down. Arms fully extended, rotate around as we come up. I straighten the knees at the top of the movement, but I don't over straighten them. There's still a soft bend in the knee. From here, take the legs a little bit wider, about shoulder width apart. Come down, open the feet up a little bit so the toes are pointing away. Hands up in the center. So my hands are facing each other. I come down, I sit into the hips. The knees are out, I'm feeling it open up the hips. Again, my back is straight. as I push straight down. Try not to come forward in the move, keep the knees behind the foot. So we don't want to come here, we don't want to come off the heels, pushing up off the heels. One more here. From here, we're gonna go down into downward dog. So I'll bend the knees a little bit, make sure that the back is flat, the low back. Pushing my hands into the mat, Pushing my shoulders away so there's space between my ear and my shoulders. From here, I bring the foot in, take it to the outside of the hand, open up the foot, open up the hip. I'm pushing the hip out with my elbow and I'm doing shoulder rotations. Relax the back foot. The hand comes up, I follow the thumb and I rotate my neck at the same time. Want the arm to stay straight throughout the movement. Feel it opening up the chest and engaging your back muscles from here. Flex the back foot, bring the leg back, come up to downward dog. We can have the legs straight or we can bend them slightly as long as the lower back is flat. From here, bring the other foot through, take it to the outside, relax the back foot, come on the knee, push the hips out. Same on this side, so the arm goes up. I'm rotating, I'm taking the arm back towards the wall, opening up the chest, and warming up the shoulder. Follow the thumb with your eye all the way around. The neck rotates at the same pace as the shoulder. One more. Back to down, the dog foot goes back, up, I'm going to hold it here, bend the knees slightly, lower back is flat. From here I'm going to bend my knees and jump my feet to my hands. From here I'm going to come up very slowly, keeping the back straight as I come up. Hand against the wall, hand behind the glute, I'm doing leg kicks. As I bring the leg back, I squeeze the glute and then I push it forward. Try not to rotate the hips. Hips towards it, slight rotation, slight hip extension. As soon as the glute engages, I push the foot back up. I kick it away. 
Make sure you always feel it in the glute. We don't want to come all the way back to engage the lower back. We want a nice, slow and controlled movement. Switch sides. So leg goes out straight in front and comes back, squeezing the glute. Don't feel it in the lower back. It's only my leg that's moving back and forward. Soft bend in the knee, my toe is pointing straight. From here we're going to go into ankle flexibility. So coming into the wall, heel down, back leg is straight. Come close to the wall so you almost touch the wall with your knee. Keep the heel down on the floor, bringing the knee towards the little toe, towards the outside of the foot. Keep the heel down. So here we're stretching the ankle. Switch sides. So again, I'm coming close to the wall so I can almost touch it, but not fully touching it. We want to get a nice stretch on the ankle. Keeping the heel down, again, the knee goes away from the center of the body, it goes towards the little toe, towards the mid toe. into the time I'm going to show you how to perform the exercises. We're going to be doing them back to back with only 15 seconds rest in between. The first one we have is a lunge. So we're going to come back, plant the foot, engage the glute. I go down into the lunge. The knee almost touches the floor. As I come back up, I'm kicking forward. So I go back, plant the foot, stable hips coming down and kick. Okay, make sure that the body stays upright. I plant the foot, get balanced, then go down. As I go down, I'm pushing straight down, the knees stay behind the toe. So we're going to do 45 seconds one leg, quick rest for 15 seconds, and we're going to hit the other leg. From then, we're going to come down. If you've got a box, great, grab a small stool or a step. We're going to go into an elevated glute bridge. So your modified version is that you're going to be here back into the floor, driving up from the elbows, and you're just going to do a standard glute bridge. Remember, we go high enough to hit the glutes, but not so high that we are flexing the lower back. So I'm pushing my heels into the box and I'm coming up. For a harder version of this exercise, we're going to do one leg with the glute march. So this leg is off the box, I'm coming up, I'm marching in, and I'm going to hold it here for two. I'm going to go back down, I'm going to come back up for two. 45 seconds. Okay, then we're going to switch to the other side. Which means for those of you that are doing glute march, we're going to be doing them for a minute and a half. After that, we've got high plank. So we're going to be here. We're going to tap the foot to the side, bring the heel down. So it's almost like we're doing a hip opener at the same time. I'm tapping my foot down. My joints are stacked on top of one another. What if I'm going to we're going to be here. Okay, you're just going to bring the foot out to the side, tapping each side making the making sure that the upper back is flat okay we're not rounding the bum's not in the air and we're not dropping down that's exercise three next move is a glute bridge frog so i'm going to bring the feet in the closer i am to my crotch area the more mobility i need so if your hips are a little tight start a little further away if your hips are a nice open we can bring them closer from here, pushing the lower back in, I'm coming up, I'm driving through the elbows, I'm squeezing the top, squeezing my core and squeezing my glutes, and I'm keeping the legs open, keeping the knees open, and coming up. We're going to hold it, squeeze for one second at the top of the move. From there, we have that plank again with a donkey kick, so I'm going to be in a stacked position here, I'm going to bring the leg up, tap, knee in. Okay, modified version is I'm going to be fully on the floor and I'm going to bring the leg up and I'm going to bring the knee in. So I'm working glutes here, I'm going to be in and I'm crunching. So remember we have three rounds in total, so we're going to be doing each exercise three times. Four to five seconds on, 15 seconds rest. So remember first position we've got lunge. So at the 
center of mat. I'm gonna step back. Hips are even, I go down, almost touch the floor and I kick up. As I go down, the opposite elbow is forward, so knee and elbow bent. So I bring the other leg forward and the arm at the same time. Arm goes straight. I'm going straight down without touching the back knee on the floor because then we lose tension. We want to keep the muscles engaged when working throughout 45 seconds. Again, go your own pace. Having the leg back in line with the hips, so try not to come over. So, 15 second rest. So again, I'm kicking forward. Hands coming forward, I'm coming back. Here, so, kick forward, land, squeeze the glute, head goes straight down. Nice and slow, first round. We can speed up as we go along. Nice controlled kick. Keep the lower back nice and flat. We don't want to round too much. Coming down. Make sure that the knee is behind the toe and it's pushed out to the side. Ten more seconds. So I'm looking straight ahead and squeezing the glue, pushing off the back toe, keeping the weight on the heel of the front toe, on the front foot, coming down to elevated glute. So again, we've got 45 seconds on each side. I turn my time up. I'm going to do two marches, back down, push the back into the floor, one, two, back down. So I'm feeling it in my glutes and I'm feeling it in my hamstrings. Feels that one, the modified version, I'm just going to go into a standard glute, bringing the hips up. Put your hands on your hips, make sure that your hips are even, you come up and that you don't see rotation. If one is higher than the other, it means that you're engaging one glute a little bit more. So now we have 15 seconds rest, we're going to do the other side. So I'm coming up off the heel, I'm pushing the heels, pushing the arms in. As I come up, I'm squeezing the glute, hamstrings engaged, and I'm bringing the knee in. Back down, reset, up again, bringing the knee to the so side, I'm not letting the hips drop down. I'm taking the hips as high as I can without engaging the lower back. Okay, you shouldn't feel it in the hamstring more than you feel it in the glutes. If you feel it more in the hamstring, come to the, the standard glute bridge and focus on pushing the heels against the elevated objects and squeezing the glute. If your hamstring dominated, probably means that we're not engaging the glutes as well as we can. So instead of doing the harder exercise, we'll go for the modified version. Rest with a little high plank. So I'm going to tap to each side. Make sure I'm straight line from my head to my glutes. I'm tapping out. My shoulders and my wrists are stacked, they're in line. I'm tapping, I'm working the core, I'm working the shoulders, holding the plank position. Full foot on the floor, bring the knee out. So I'm working the core, working the shoulders. Also working on opening up the hips. Modified version, remember you're here. Bum down, squeezing the glutes, and you're tapping from side to side. Make sure the bum's not in the air. Make sure you're not letting it sag down. Tap, tap. Other version, we're high, and we're stepping down. Here, front glute bridge. 
So feet together, low back pushed into the ground. I'm driving up through the elbows, keeping the knees up to the side and squeezing the glutes at the top. Again, you shouldn't feel it in the lower back, only in the glutes. Let the knees naturally relax and open. Don't bring them together. Again, just high enough that we feel it in the glutes. It shouldn't be arching my back. If you feel like it's, if it's pulling your back, you're not feeling it that much in the hips, take the feet a little bit further away. Pushing the lower back into the ground, squeezing at the top, so I'm feeling it in my glutes on the inside of my hips, but not in my lower back. We can move the feet closer, we've got better mobility. Now we've got planks to donkey kick, so modified version, you're going to be on the knee. Remember, the knee stays on the hip. From here, I go up. Just enough that I squeeze it in the glue, and then bring the knee forward. We don't want to go too high and flex the lower back. We don't want to take the head up either, so it's just up, engage, through. Other version we've got is here. So it makes it a little bit more challenging. We're adding a little bit of balance in. We're also working the front of the leg. so I feel it in the abs. Squeezing and pushing my heel up, driving my heel up. Trying to keep the hips straight, okay, I'm not rotating around. I want to make it more challenging. Keep the knee under the hip. Down. 
So from here, I'm gonna move on the stand glute bridge. If you're feeling it too much in the hamstring, go a little one leg, it's a little bit too difficult. Otherwise, we're pushing the heel in. Coming up on one leg, bringing the leg in for a march, back down. So as I take my leg out, my knees are in line. I come down. Back up, squeeze the glute, come up high. Make sure the hips are in line as you come up. Might have a tendency to drop this hip. Engage the glute, make sure it's up. Two, down, reset the back. Pushing up. Drive up through the elbows as you come up. So driving the elbows in, pushing the heel of the foot so that I come up into the glute bridge. From here I'm marching and keeping the hips straight. I'm down, I'm resetting, pushing the back into the floor. Coming up, just squeezing in the glutes, not in the lower back. Knee in. Drive up through the elbows. So keep the hips in line, remember, hand here, there. so you can visually see, visually cue yourself to bring the other hip up if you have to, if they're uneven.
So wrist on the shoulders, knee on the hip. Bring the leg up, knee into the chest. Working core here, take the leg back, working the glute. on the leg, keep the knee bent, okay, last round, then we're done, lunges, touches the floor, front knee is out, okay don't let it come over the side of your body, front knee is behind the toes, I'm standing upright as I come up, I'm not leaning forward, it's essentially if I'm being pushed from above straight down. Okay, high plank. If I'm 
opening up the hips. Squeeze the bum here in the center. My bum should stay high. Not too high, we don't want to be high up, we want a straight line from the head to the glute. Hold it out at the side for a second, pushing the knees out away so that we can open up the hips. Mix between upper body move and a mobility move for the hips. You have 10 more seconds, this is the last one. Last round of this move. Oof. Coming down to the mat, we have frog glute bridge. So remember, I'm driving the elbows in, I'm coming up, I'm pushing the hips straight up, and I'm not going backwards. Coming up, keeping the knees open, don't let them come in. Back down. Make sure that the hips are even. Put your hands onto cue. I'm squeezing my bum together. Halfway there. Squeeze the core as you come up, driving through the elbows. Back down, up, squeeze, hard as you can. Back down. Ten seconds. One more up, hold. Rest. Okay, last exercise plank with donkey kicks. So, knee on the floor, bringing the hips up, crunching in. One move leads into the other. Knee bent at 90, coming up. My foot goes up in there, I'm pushing the heel up, but I'm keeping my lower back nice and neutral. Halfway there. Remember, to advance the movement, we can come up onto the foot, the knee stays under the hip, and I'm coming up and through. 10 seconds. Squeezing the glute at the top, bringing the leg in. Rest. Oh, last 15. Up, knee in. Last side, last exercise, then we're finished. So I'm really contracting my glute at the top of the movement. I'm not feeling it in my lower back. I've just got a mind muscle connection between the bum. And then the abs as I crunch in. Halfway there. My knee is up off the floor. I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging. The last 15 seconds. Push through. Last exercise. 10 seconds. Oh. Oh. Push. Oh. Okay, well done. Day 19 complete. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's upper body session.